Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. I have this 2015 Husqvarna, the uh, Honda-powered GCV160 on my bench. I just got this in a package deal. Three for 140 I also got this um, Lawn Boy and this old Boland's Pulse in the deal. This was thrown in for nothing. This might actually be the best out of all of them. So I paid top dollar. I don't pay 140 for three units typically, but they did run. But as always, I find issues after the fact. I had to mess with the rear drive system of this lawn boy, so I spent time on that. This Husqvarna would not start today. So I had poured um, out the, the gas that was in here. It was kind of brown. I wanted to start with fresh fuel. Sharpened the blade, cleaned it up a little bit, and now it won't start. I had also drained the uh, bowl. The bowl looked clean. Um, I did that prior to today. Once I got the um, old gas out of the gas tank, I did drain the bowl. So let's take this thing out, clean out the carburetor, and see if we can get this thing to fire off. <clears throat> I have the um, fuel selector to the off position. That will allow me to remove the fuel line without fuel spilling all over the place. So I hope you're at a good angle to see what we're doing. Two 10 millimeter bolts. These bolts go all the way through to the block. Everything's lined up and rest on those two bolts. I'm kind of in the full sun. The sun's blasting me in the eyes. Maybe I'll switch you out of the way so I can tackle this. Okay, let's go with this. I kind of Mickey Mouse my tripod that had, it's got four sections, the nuts holding each section are worn out so I Mickey Mouse that so you're not three feet off the ground you're at eye level so what's let's see what's plugging this thing up This rubber hose attaches to the back of this plastic air filter backing plate. I'll remove the uh, fuel line now. There may be a little fuel that pours out of that small section of line. I'm hoping the fuel I put in it wasn't contaminated. That would be a pisser. Hopefully my iPad doesn't overheat. You're in the full sun. It's still 85 degrees in southwest Florida. Remove the spring and the um, throttle linkage from the top of the carburetor. Like so. Let me uh, change positions here. 
You'll also use a 10 millimeter to remove the nut, <clears throat> the bowl nut. We got Southwest Airlines screwing me up again. They're probably heading to Phoenix, PHX. Who wants to go to Phoenix? I probably will eventually. I like the desert. Remove the bowl nut. You got all the fuel in the bowl pissing out the bottom. When I had looked at this prior, totally clean, I didn't see any issues with the bowl. There's a little bit of crud down there, but I've seen much worse. Nothing that's going to amount to anything. I got compressed air nearby. <sighs> that wasn't the compressed air, that was me. Throw that back in my bleach container. Let me get a flat head. To remove the uh, main jet. It's, it's coming out. I don't have the best screwdriver for this. But it doesn't look too dirty in here. Okay, my pin for the float just fell off, so I'm going to remove that whole thing. The, the needle and the pin, drop it in my bleach container so I don't lose it. Everything fell down into the container where I want it so I don't lose it. So I'll take a bread wrapper, clean this thing out. Just took a bread wrapper and uh, took the plastic off. I'll do the jet first. There's nothing in there that's working out. Put that back down in the container. Run this up the middle and look at all the. Um, holes here on the side of this emulsion tube, they all look like they're open. I don't see any clogging. Make sure all of these are free and clear. My cheap Dollar Tree glasses, I gotta go up a, a shade. So these all look clean. I'm not going to mess with those. I can see through them all. I don't see any blockage. Holding them up to the sun. So I'm going to put that back in here with the rest of my parts. Dig the body out. The rest of the body here. 
I'm going to remove this screw with the Phillips head. Okay, it's severely tight, so what I'm going to do is throw um, a vice grip on it and just break it loose. Otherwise, I'm going to strip the shit out of the, the um, Phillips head notches here on the top, and then I'll be upset. So I'm just going to break the tension that's on this. Using the tailgate of my truck as a workbench. <laughs> 